I'll pick it up. Let's go. We get it. You hate your sister. I don't hate my sister. All right, everybody. So the way that this is going to work, if you haven't already, you're going to grab a cupcake and you're going to check the bottom of it to see who is going to be blessed with a little angel and start a family next. If I don't have ovaries, can I get two cupcakes? No, you cannot. Mom and I wish we could be there to have some of these sweets with you, but, but we know it's going to be a treat for us because I, I bet you Joya is going to be picking the cupcake that brings us our second grandbaby. Not pregnant. To be honest, you know, I've been praying for uh, grandchildren for such a long time, and I'm really surprised that your younger sister is the first one to get pregnant. You know, we really thought that you and Darren being together for so long, it would be, you know, you guys. It would be oh, you know, leave him alone. I'm sure that they'll start a family eventually. I don't want to play the devil's advocate, but I'd have to agree with your parents on this one. It would be really nice if little Riley had a cousin to play with growing up. Especially one that where the age gap isn't so big like ours is. Because, I mean, if you think about it, it's, you know, when I, I was growing, growing up, up, there were always two kids to play with me. So I don't see what the big problem is now. Seems like as good a time as any. Never worry about that. Where are you and going? She hasn't talked the house, and then she goes and walks off when we're trying to have a conversation. I'll talk to her. Let's go. Why? What's going on? I'm ready to go. Is it all the baby talk? Because your parents aren't here pressing you now, and and you, your sister's still in there, and she's not talking shit on you. And it's just me and yeah, you in private. Can't. Of course you can. We're, I'm driving, so we're not going anywhere until we talk about it. Do you want to have kids or not? Because it just seems to me like you don't want to have kids. You always talk about when the right time is. When's the right time? I, I guess now, but I, I just... I, seems like now, doesn't it? I'm saying that I, I physically can't get pregnant. Okay? I don't understand. Of course you can. I... Now, if you don't want to be a mom, just say you don't no, want to be a mom. You want to have a career. No, you're you're not listening. I'm saying that I, I, I've been I've been trying. I haven't I haven't taken the birth control for like a year. Oh, and you give me a, a cop out now. No, I'm not lying. Well, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I haven't been on birth control for like a year since that position opened up. I've just I've just been scared. I'm scared that that. It's so important to you. I thought that you wanted to leave me. It is me. important. I didn't think it is you'd want to, to stay with me if Why I would you say that? Give us that family. That's not the case. Hey, I love you. And, and we're a family. Me and you are a family. But don't say that. You can't say that. I don't even want to say it. That's not the case. I don't know. We'll go to the doctor. Look, we'll go to the doctor and we'll get you tested. And I'm sure you'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. Sure, it just takes a little time. Hey. Good evening. Uh, I just got off the phone with the doctor. Whoa. What did he say? Uh, uh, he said that the blood work came back fine, and I'm okay. And you're fine. Yeah. And everything's okay. Well, I told you it was gonna be well, okay. Yeah, but he also said that um, there shouldn't be any reason why I haven't gotten pregnant at this point. Right. Uh, you know, unless there's something else. Unless. Unless. 